The highly anticipated second summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ended early. Trump left the negotiating table in Hanoi, Vietnam on Thursday without a deal. My co-host Galat Malamed is in studio to explain how the summit ended and where the talks can go from here. Thanks, Elijah. A talk eight months in the making. The first meeting between the two leaders in June ended with vague aspirational goals of denuclearization. The second go around, though, was not enough to put those goals into action. Trump and Kim could not reach a deal. Trump left Vietnam before the planned signing ceremony. The White House says Kim wanted all sanctions lifted, and in return, North Korea would shut down its main nuclear site. The lifting of all sanctions, though, was a non-starter for the U.S. And while the closing of that nuclear facility would be a step towards denuclearization, it's not the only facility North Korea has. National Security Advisor John Bolton says he's okay with the no deal. Well, you're, you're speaking in the, in the terms of conventional diplomacy, but my goodness, there's no deal. How horrible. Uh, I would say it the other way. If, if you can't get a good deal, and the president offered North Korea the best deal it could possibly get, no deal is better than a bad deal. Other news coming out of the summit, Trump not holding Kim responsible for the death of Otto Warmbier, the college student who fell into a coma in a North Korean prison, which led to his death. Just over a year ago, the president received praise for bringing Warmbier's body home and then invited Warmbier's parents as his guests to last year's State of the Union. Now the president is siding with Kim, saying the leader did not know. So, Galat, one quick question. So with these talks kind of falling through, what is the outlook for North Korean denuclearization now? Yeah, well, the special, the U.S. Special Envoy to North, North Korea, he's meeting with the Senate Foreign Relations Committee tomorrow, and he's going to debrief them on ongoing negotiations. What are these ongoing negotiations? We don't know, but we might see more aides and advisors playing a role before, if the two leaders were to ever meet again, have more of an ironed-out deal from people lower down on the totem pole before they meet, and, you know, hopefully would sign a deal, because both of them, you know, they don't want to leave empty-handed again, I'm sure. Of course. Galat, always great seeing you back in the trenches. Thanks.